In private the Duke will feel perfectly able to tell the monarch if she has made a bloody stupid remark, whereas in public he would never dare. Philip and the Queen first met when the young princess was just 13 years old. Elizabeth II was on a visit to Prince Philip's Naval College in Dartmouth in 1939 when, according to royal author Philip Dampier, it was love at first sight and they immediately started exchanging long letters to each other. Royal News, How Prince Philip Drove Most Futuristic Car of Its Time how photos showed Kate surrounded by male admirers at party without the couple married on November 20, 1947, and Philip moved into Buckingham Palace. The Duke of Edinburgh's position of power in the Royal Navy meant he was used to being in charge, and over the years, he has become known for his occasional temper. In the 2008 documentary The Duke, Portrait of Prince Philip, Prince Philip's biographer Tim Heald claims that the Duke completely changes behavior towards the Queen depending if they are in private or in public. He said, it is very interesting that you have this extraordinary contrast between the way Prince Philip behaves in public. He differs quite rightly because she is the Queen. She is the ultimate, she is the boss, and he is just her husband. But the minute the doors shut in their own private, it changes. He will feel perfectly able to say, that was a bloody stupid remark you made about this is. And she will take it, because in private it was the guy who wore the trousers. It is not the first time that Prince Philip is depicted this way. In 2014 documentary The Majestic Life of Queen Elizabeth II, Maltese journalist John Mizzy also claimed that officially the Queen was the boss, but in private life it was Philip who ran the show. Referring to a trip the Queen and the Duke of Edinburgh were on in Malta, Mr Mizzy said, he seemed to boss her around most of the time. I shouldn't say this perhaps, I heard him swearing at her. According to writer and broadcaster Hugo Vickers, the Queen actually liked the fact Prince Philip was able to tell her off. Mr Vickers noted in the 2014 documentary, the thing with the Queen and Prince Philip is that they both are very very well matched. She took on somebody her own size. He is the one person who can categorically tell her if something is not going well. He can talk to her directly and he does.